Okay, here we go. This is the new Widowmaker Flex Arrow that's just come out. The, um, these are blanks at the moment. We haven't got any writing on them. They will be um, further down the track. Uh, so uh, they'll just look like a simple, normal arrow, except now we've got a 3.2 millimeter internal diameter. These shafts are going to be super strong. This is a 300. Um, the, uh, they're just the, I'd call them the big, uh, the big brother of the, the uh, smash arrows. Now these arrows are going to be called uh, the Widowmaker Flex as I said. The reason why we call it the Flex is it's going to be completely integrated where you can use the different componentry to make any FOC that you want in your arrows in the future. The, um, here is the outsert. Now the outsert will also take an internal uh, weight. To give you an example that's the um, 100 grain weight stainless steel. The outserts are all titanium so virtually indestructible. These will go into the base of the outsert screw in. I recommend you maybe put a little bit of um, glue on it to hold it in there. I wouldn't say it's a necessity as you can see there's a little groove in the top which you can use a screwdriver to screw it in tight. You then, uh, this would then be like that. You centre it, have a look down the middle to make sure that it's centred nicely and that will then slide onto your shaft and go down the shaft I'd put a little bit of glue here slide it in clamp it spin it and that will be locked in a little bit of glue uh, preferably a rubberized glue because these things will hit hard so that'll be the front end that complete as you can see we go down the back end now this is the exciting thing the um, the new over pin knock now you won't see these anywhere the uh, this is to stop the back end of your shaft of protecting it and also allows you to put weights in to adjust your FOC if you need to. These will screw in exactly the same. That's a 20 grain weight in the back. I'm just doing this as an example for you. Then that will sit over the back of that. Same deal. Slide it in, glue it, twist it on. Make sure it's nice and straight. That one's not quite straight because I didn't do it properly, but we'll get this done there. Okay, so once that's glued on, nice and straight. That's pretty much your arrow made there. Cut it to whatever length you want. Then we have a good solid pin knock pin, which we'll then put on. I recommend it probably, once you've set it all up, I'd glue it. Um, we're going to make sure that these knocks are a bit, a bit more push on easier or hold a bit tighter but I would recommend that you probably put a little dob of glue on those. So that will be pretty much your arrow. Screw on your broadhead, whichever broadhead you're going to use. Preferably a Widowmaker. That's just the 215. Sit here. And as you can see, we just spin it beautifully. Okay, so that's pretty much ready to then put over whatever veins you wish to put on. Okay, that just gives you a little bit of a rundown on that. I'm going to be doing up these arrows, you'll see them in, in the next video. We will have uh, the tests downrange etc. and strength tests. Thank you.